But they tell you, I don't want fuck, I want to make love. And they make you wait, and you wait and wait and wait and wait. And you just keep on waiting, you just wait, and finally, she gives you some. And it's the best you ever had in your life. You come harder than you've ever came. This was it. This was the feeling I've been searching for. I finally made love. You didn't make love, it just felt real good. You know why? Because you waited five months for it. If you're starving and somebody throw you a cracker, you're going to be like this. God damn, that's the best cracker I've ate in my life. That ain't no regular cracker, was it? What was that, a saltine? God damn, that was delicious. That wasn't no saltine, no, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was rich. That, was, that wasn't no rich. I said, God, that's the best cracker I've ate in my life. Can I have another one, please? Please, one more. Then you get married because you think you found the bomb, had the same crackers every day for a year, and you roll over one day and be like, hey, I just got some regular old crackers. <laughs> you try to leave, hey! So be careful, marry you someone that's not gonna fool around on you, which would be hard to do in the 80s because everybody's fucking each other nowadays. It's like, fuck fest 87 down this <laughs> motherfucker. Everybody, everybody is fucking, and it really is getting bad. Let me hear the women clap that are loyal to their men, truthfully. Let me hear you clap. Okay, now, let me hear, let me hear the women clap that have men that are loyal to them, truthfully. I see y'all some disillusioned ladies clapping right now. And let me hear the men clap. Let me hear the men clap that are loyal to their women. Stop. You lying motherfuckers, stop. Stop, stop, stop. You kiss my ass. Fuck, I ain't no such thing as a loyal man. You lying motherfuckers, stop it. And the only reason y'all clap is because your woman's sitting next to you right now when I ask you. When I asked the question, she looked at you like this. <laughs> you gonna put your hands together? You better stomp your feet and light a match for this pussy, goddammit. Stand up and clap. Stand your ass up and clap. <laughs> She's number one. Out here. No such thing as a loyal man. Ladies, do not be fooled. I know some men have some strong raps, and I'll have you believe in it. No loyal men. All men fuck other women. We are low by nature and have to do it. We are men. All men do it. We have to do it. We are men. It is a man thing. Men must find and conquer as much pussy as they can get. Do not think for two seconds that you're the only one your man is fucking. He is a man and has to conquer women. I see a lot of you get women out there sitting out and going, not my man, yes, your man too. Your man too. If he's not here with you tonight, he fucking somebody. Because he is a man. Has nothing to do with you. You can have the best pussy in the world, could be a cape, hanging out your pussy with a big S on it. <laughs> your man's still gonna go fuck somebody else because he is a man. It is a dick thing. Do not try to understand it. You have to have a dick to understand this. We are men. You know a lot of guys sitting out there right now like this too. Yo, Ed, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> I ain't spent all my money for this, motherfucker. Cause you're gonna be driving home tonight with your wife in the car like this. You don't really be fooling around like Eddie Murphy say, do you? <laughs> no, baby, that's just jokes. <laughs> that Ed show is funny, ain't it? <laughs> Yeah, look, why don't we change the subject? Let's talk about something completely different. I, I don't even want to talk about this fooling around stuff. I do want to talk about this fooling around stuff. Because you know something, why does he have to lie to me? I think he was telling the truth. You know something, if you fooled around, I would be so hurt and disgusted. You know what I would do? I would wait till you went to sleep. I'd come inside the room and I would kill you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that Ed show is funny. 
Well, I ain't got to worry about getting killed because much as I love you, I wouldn't fool around. Why don't we change the subject? Talk about something different. Let, let's talk about the Richard Pryor. I don't want to talk about the Richard Pryor. I won't talk about this, 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 this fooling around shit, because if you fooled around, I would be so hurt. You know what I would do? What would you do, baby? Take half? <laughs> no, I'd wait till you went to sleep, and I'd come inside the room and cut your dick off. <laughs> don't be talking about cutting off my dick. <laughs> well, you don't be putting your dick in nobody else then. I don't play that shit. You cut off my dick, you better run, goddammit. <laughs> once you make a woman come real hard, once you make a woman say, ooh, no matter how bad you fuck up, no matter what you do wrong, no matter what you say, no matter what you do, as long as you say, I'm sorry, she will listen to your story. And that's the truth. 